we allow them to be released and place them in neighborhoods next to our families. I mean, it's bizarre to me, and we're paying for all this. San Diego Superior Court has approved sexually violent predator 71-year-old William Stafford for conditional release. He will be placed in the community. Department of State Hospitals and Liberty Healthcare proposing Stafford to live in this home on Old Highway 80 in Hakumba. He could be the fifth SVP living in the Hakumba Hot Springs community. KUSI visits the property, a view of the home from the road. It's not occupied, a five-acre property, no fencing. Some areas have cut barbed wire fencing. No lights along the roads or in front of the home. I know that there's predators living over there and stuff, so it doesn't make them feel safe either. 19-year-old Sophia Escaval lives down the road with her family. We broke the news to her. I had no idea. She says they have limited cable and internet service, and it's spotty. She takes a two-hour bus ride to Cuyamaco College twice a week. To think about the, like, a lot of sexual predators that might be, like, that might be on my bus. Like, I have a three-year-old boy. Um, it's something you're concerned about. No one wants to hear anyone like that lives anywhere near them. Jeff Osborne, business owner and partner of Hakumba Hot Springs Hotel. This isn't fair to just select one community, especially this community. This is a pretty impacted community in, in other ways as well, being on the border and, and it's a low-income community. So overall, we think it's the wrong move by the county, by the judge and anyone involved in this program. You know, we think these people probably should be in a place where they get a little more um, oversight than being just kind of dropped off out here. Also a big concern of mine is how it impacts our emergency services. We're already about 30, 40 minutes from the nearest uh, major station for the sheriffs. So these, these people involve a lot of um, commitment from them time-wise. And they involve a lot of money, obviously funding as well, to, to keep oversight. And so it takes away from our response times and things like that, which we don't think is fair. We think we have enough, and this is just way overstepping the line. And how about the nearest clinic or hospital? Yeah, the nearest hospital or clinic is down in San Diego. You're probably talking sharp. You know, Grossmont Center is the nearest large hospital. Sarah Thompson with Kids Safe California behind the fight to stop several SVP placements in the county. This man has no um, morals or no capability. Clearly, there is um, there is something wrong mentally with this man. And the thing that really upsets me the most, and it states in this case, these sexually violent predators are allowed to choose whether they want to go through treatment or not. According to the state, Stafford is diagnosed with paraphilic disorder, a classified disease of frequent recurrent sexual behaviors. Convicted of multiple sex offenses since 1968, started committing these crimes at 17 years old for 20 years. Three rape convictions, females under the age of 18. He sought out victims to con, targeting women based on his anger. He was sent to 20 years in prison and has been sent to state hospital twice with treatment. Stafford currently housed at Coalinga State Hospital in Fresno County waiting for his proposed placement hearing. Teresa Sardina, KUSI News.